Okay, everybody. Um, uh, my bit rate is not cooperating right now. It was okay for a bit, then it went down, and now it is sitting way too low for me to be satisfied. I don't know what the hell is happening. It could very well be the game itself. I have it on in the background. But I think it might be too much, which is pretty sad. Ugh, I'm gonna close it out, see what happens. See if my bitrate stabilizes. If not, it's gonna be outside interference, i.e. everyone's using streaming stuff all at once. <laughs> or it's there's something just wrong with the internet. Maybe there's something going on with the ISP. Because you know my luck with my fucking ISPs all the time. So yeah, one, one second. It looks like it's starting to stabilize now. Uh, God fucking damn it. Uh, I really should try this power line ethernet stuff. See if that even, you know, works proper or well. Because maybe that would solve a lot of my issues. Uh, people reporting problems started to spike around now. Hmm. I don't know. It is... I swear. Yeah, sorry about the quiet. Okay, my bitrate is definitely stabilized now. What's gonna happen? If I open up the game, Let's see. Gonna hope for the best and hope it was just a fluke. Be a fluke, be a fluke, just be a fluke, a hiccup. Okay, I got the game open in the background. Just on the title screen. Alright, I'm gonna switch over. Of course it doesn't see the- f there we go, now it sees the game. Okay. I don't actually have it selected right now, so we're not gonna hear it. Like, I don't have the window up, so we're not going to actually hear it. Uh... But so far, we're stable. So far. You know, of course, I got to have fucking troubleshooting issues immediately. Well, welcome to the scuff, everybody. <laughs> I Okay, it looks like everything is holding steady, so I think it might have just been a hiccup. I hope. <laughs> I really should test out power line fucking uh, eth eth ethernet cabling. Just to see if it'll give me that little bit more standard smooth connection rather than my jumpy everything. <laughs> That'd be really nice. But I don't want to take a, ga a $60 gamble on it not even working. Alright, I'm gonna actually have the game open, like up, with music playing, and we'll see what happens to the bitrate. And please let me know if it is too loud, as well. I just have it set to my uh, standard.
okay. Everything seems to be holding steady. There were actually a few moments, like, I had to actually briefly stop stream and start it up again because the bitrate went to literally zero right from the get-go. <sighs> yeah, bitrate is jumpy as fuck, but it's still within a range I usually stream in. Okay, I think about uh, going about 10 minutes there. I think we should be fine now. Uh, yeah, so, <laughs> okay, yeah. How's everybody doing uh, today? So, sorry about the scuff there at the beginning and the problems. You know how it is. You know how it is. <laughs> hey, Thunderwolf. Yeah, this is the first time. First time. Shouldn't you be working? Ugh. <laughs> oh. Anyway, yeah, I figured, um, it is October, I've kind of ignored the fact that it's been spooky month, uh, if you, unless if you discount Nancy Drew, but, uh, it's spooky month, so I gotta play a spooky game, and, uh, the only one I could think of off the top of my head that is somewhat spooky, and also free, by the way, is chapter one of Poppy Playtime. So I figure, why not? Let's see if this game actually gets me spooked. I'm going to assume you can only play this game with keyboard and mouse, so... Yeah, that's going to be fun. <laughs> fun with a capital F-U! <sighs> I'm just going to do one thing real fast, actually. Yeah, no, fuck it. I'll just keep that on. I was gonna turn all my mic filters off so you can get my voice completely unfiltered and suppressed and all that, even though it was dog shit anyway. Just because I know if I were to end up screaming, it would get cut out. <laughs> I really need to know how to set that stuff up properly. Okay, anyway. We're gonna play this either until I beat it or I'm too scared to continue. <laughs> One of the two. Probably the latter. We will see. So, I'm gonna hit play, and we're gonna see what the hell happens here. Yeah, that's not foreboding at all. <laughs> well, I'm not bothering to restart the game just to put a plug controller in. I'll suffer with keyboard and mouse. <laughs> Alright. Chapter 1. Tight Squeeze. As an ex-employee of Playtime Co., you finally returned to the factory many years after everyone within disappeared. Okay. Why are you coming back? You are about to see the most incredible doll ever invented. Her name is Poppy, and she is the first truly intelligent doll in the world. A little girl can talk to her. Poppy gives her answers. She is the first doll actually able to have a conversation with a child. Hard to believe? Just watch. Is that a sync for you guys? Playtime! Poppy's as lovable as a real girl, and she talks like one, too. Hi, my name is Poppy. I love you. Can you help me polish my shoes? Why, of course, Poppy. Just like a real girl, Poppy always wants to look her best. Perfect. Thank you. Her hair is sturdy and won't come out when you brush it, and smells just like a poppy flower. Is there anything else you'd like to say, Poppy? I'm a real girl. Just like you. What's the time? Playtime! 
And if you've ever wanted to see how all of the nation's favorite toys were created, Playtime Co. is now offering factory tours at just $2.99 a person. An mm. entire hour in the most magical toy factory on Earth. What are you waiting for? Come visit the factory. We can't... Well. Okay then. Everyone thinks the staff disappeared 10 years ago. We're still here. Find the flower. Okay. That's fucked up. Loading, loading. A million years later. How much is there to load? Well, my mouse is in the game world because it's not appearing on my actual screen. Um, I don't know what's going on. Is the game just broken right now? Is my computer so bad that it takes forever to load? I am... lost? Confused? What the fuck is happening? Well, I hit escape and it let me do something. I think the game's broken. So I'm gonna exit and open it up again. And yeah. yeah Select in chapter one. We'll try that again. Yeah, new game. Hold any button to skip. Oh. Alright, we're loading. There we go. Okay, so it's just screwed up. All right, it just kind of glitched out on us. All right, all right so yeah, WASD. Let's do that. Got to jump. Yeah, pause. Where are our controls? Yeah, move, jump, sh run is shift, control is crouch, E is interact, left click, right click. Okay. All right. Uh, I turn some shit off. Let's drop everything down to basic, just to give my thing a, you know. <laughs> turn off motion blur, by the way. Go with that. Hi, right, Yusuke. How's the game going? Oh, we just got it to load. So, so far, so good. Actually, you know what? Let's put those settings back to best.
I'll keep motion blur off though. Oh yeah, that's a lot better, and plus my computer can't handle it. Redeemed a Power Ranger Sentai or Rider fact. Okay, um let's see what I can think of right now. I am semi drawn a blank right now. <laughs> uh, well, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me think of something. Maybe some tea will help. Uh, it's okay. I just started. Um, please, I don't need to go and make a tea. I don't need to delay this any longer than I have. <laughs> Eh, let's just go with this. So, uh... The sixth season of uh, Power Rangers, Power Rangers in Space, which is just, you know, obviously in space, set in space. All their Zords were space-themed in a way, and they had stuff that would let them fly through space. All that fun jazz. In a kind of a funny turn of events, the Sentai it was based off of was technically not a space-themed uh, show. It was more about, like, technology and video games in a way, somewhat. It's more like just technology in general. And sure, yeah, it did have some space stuff, but they weren't traversing across the galaxy. They came up with that theme mostly because of just, like, the initial things they saw mostly designs went with that and when they i think when they kind of realized it wasn't that they just had to do what they could because well this could be the last season of power rangers let's make it happen <laughs> so they turned a show that did not have a space theme into a space opera and then hilariously the very next season of power rangers they decided to make it a space opera again because hey it worked the first time we're back on the air let's just do another space theme and in of course, the Sentai that was based off of was also not space-themed. That one was a nature-themed one, so they really had their work cut out for them. Okay. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a train. Oh, good lord. All these things open? Yeah. That's really foreboding. That looks horrifying. It's a it's one of these. God damn, it's so dark. I just need to be able to see. Display. I'm assuming these are like display cases, but they're smashed open. Let me 
chess player. Hmm. Okay, we got a videotape. Hi. My name is Leif Bier, and I'm the head of innovation here at the Playtime Co. Toy Factory. If you're seeing this, then you're trespassing. Yeah, we play this little tape on loop whenever we close the factory for the day. So, trespasser, just to make you aware, while we pride ourselves primarily on our high-quality toys and excellent child care, we also pride ourselves on our security. For example, this facility is full of hidden motion triggers, which, once set off, We'll turn on the factory's emergency alarms and directly contact the authorities. And that's one of the more tame aspects of our security system. No spoilers. So, you've got my warning. It's not too late to turn around. I just hope that you're certain whatever you're doing is worth it. Okay. Jesus, how long has that been there? Okay, I don't know the password for that. shuttered I mean if you want to lay it on me go ahead I'm gonna try to figure out where the hell I'm gonna get a password Got our first puzzle here. Getting into the staff only room. In the first Super Sentai, they can change colors. They're also the first to have 12 Rangers. Juoger had 12 Rangers. Doesn't feel right. The Tokugers came before the Chuogers, and they could change colors all the time. That was their big main gimmick. They could change colors. Could be right about the 12 Ranger part, though. Wait, how do they have 12 rangers? They've got the main five, plus Juo the world, and then Juo bird. Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I swear to God, if this actually does it... Red, blue, and yellow. Oh, apparently not. Or everything but. Nope.
Yeah, I need a fourth color. I got red, blue, yellow. Or that light. Oh, I don't tell me that's like light blue. Fucking light blue. I know not controls. Items. I have no items. Eagle. Eagle. Gorilla. Whale. Shark. Elephant. Okay, but that's five. Tiger six. The world seven. Bird would be eight. There's a condor. Okay, Condor is nine. I swear to God, if it's this. Green, pink, yellow, red. You count duo human? Okay, so eagle, gorilla, whale, shark, lion, elephant, tiger, world, bird, condor. Okay, so that'd be 10. The human, 11. Shit, I've already forgotten the colors of the fucking train. Green, pink, yellow, red. Of course. Okay. That took me... An embarrassing amount of time. Oh well. And we got another TV. Okay, there. Another tape. <laughs> oh! Okay. Use my grab pack responsibly. Uh, I will. Yeah, this thing's only been sitting here for ten years. I'm sure it's... Finally, ew. I see, I see. Interesting. Is there any more shit I can mess with? I want to get used to this. Well, I can't pull down the train. Oh, 
Baggy Wuggy, the toy that hugs you back. <laughs> but he's missing. They're all missing. Every toy is missing, other than that one thing there. I'm gonna assume the game wants me to go this way. I opened the wrong... Oh, my God. <laughs> nope, not that way. Ow. I see. So those huggies are still around. High five. I swear I can do this. Huggy Wuggy, 1984 to... Playtime Co. has designed hundreds of distinct toys, but none connected with people more than that of Huggy Wuggy. Our founder, Elliot L Ludwig... Aim to create a toy which could hug you forever. As is always true, Playtime Co.'s four-step process to creating those lifelike toys was a success. With a bit of string and polyester, our lovable blue pal Huggy was brought to life. Huggy Wuggy has gone on to be Playtime Co.'s most popular and best-selling item so far. something okay these ones are some of them are busted open other ones aren't I mean oh good god some of them are busted uh, I guess I gotta go this way or not is that something dropped somewhere I heard a tinkle tingle I didn't hear a tinkle I heard a tingle oh. I heard something dropping god oh okay Hello, uh, love, love of XQC. How you doing? Welcome in. Oh, I don't like that. Um, excuse me. Why is there like bloody dolls? Seen chapter two yet? No, not really. I only have chapter one. Remember, do be kind to others, show up on time, not hide behind doors to scare Lafe Pierre. Don't stay past 8 p.m., misuse company time, tamper with machinery, enter innovation wing without authorization. Uh, no, 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 don't. No link, sorry. Jesus. Oh, that worked. I do conduct electricity. back what is the link without posting it
Where the fuck did he go? Okay, now I can enter this room. No, no thanks. It's okay. Um, what? I fucking saw that. Oh, fuck no. Oh, fuck no. Steam. I'll be honest, I actually am already kind of spooked. Is there an orange video tape somewhere in here? Is it hiding behind the boxes? then. Where presumably Huggy went. Now I can get uh, back this way. I need a second hand at some point. Well, I did something. Oh. 
think the tape is on one of the shelves. The girl, look at the girl from No Game, No Life. Ah, it was supposed to be like some kind of super, super special kind of doll. Like the best doll ever that actually responds to your voice. Hey, a dino. <laughs> I'm keeping my eye out for a tape, but I don't really see one. Just busted up, uh... Oh, there it is. I don't know, I can see what that's about. Okay, not happy about an orphan program. Okay, I'm still missing yellow. Back over here in Sweden, it's daytime. Well, right now it is uh, nighttime. Me in good old Canada. Okay, yellow, yellow. Where is yellow? Is it hiding behind this? It's definitely in plain sight. There it is. Almost 1 a.m. I am not asleep. Well, really I get to sleep, Yusuke. <laughs> Don't want to be too tired for the morning. Like, the actual morning. Okay, the claw's moving. This is where the fun begins? Oh, great. Alright, let's look around. See what I got to work with.
That was easy. Time fostering happiness. Adopt an orphan today. Time to foster adoptive, adoptive care center initiative. Strive to create permanency in the lives of orphan children by rescuing adoptive and foster, recruiting adoptive and foster parents within our own organization. We encourage all Playtime employees to take part in our mission by fostering and adopting an orphan child. Participating employees may be eligible for additional benefits. This initiative helps children not only in Midwest region, but also orphans around the world. Every child deserves a chance at a new life. Oh, that's nice. Well, that's a horrifying to look at. Make a friend, 1960. Our founder, Elliot Ludwig, was a visionary. He set the stage for all of Playtime Co.'s greatest feats. He involves the amazing things he created. The Make a Friend machine is one of the most creative, impressive, and advanced. It is solely responsible for nearly every Playtime Co. toy sold on the market to this day. All it needs is to be fed the proper parts, and it will then paint, assemble, and do quality inspection of the toy all on its own. Gone is the need for complex sorting and backbreaking labor. This machine can do it all, do all that and more. Oh, it says there's power. <laughs> Nobody leaves without a toy. Lovely. Oh, purple? No, there's a purple VHS somewhere. Who suffers the most watching a horror movie? I have no idea. If you ever want to read up on the lore of this game, it gets very dark. Great. <laughs> Your underwear? Oh my god. that panel. So attaching to all of those. I see. That is my end goal. My end 
goals be on that guy? I'm gonna come around these. I can't go around like this, otherwise I get caught on these. So I need to go up the middle and around both of them. So it wants me to connect to that, then this, then loop back around to here. Nope. I heard something break. I also gotta find that purple tape. It's definitely somewhere within sight. Okay, so I need to connect to that and also connect to all this. It connects me that almost connects me. There we go. Alright. That wasn't too bad. Took me a little bit, but I got it. Let's see if I can find that purple tape. I didn't see it up here, so it's probably down here. Purple tape. Purple tape. That's a tile. Can't really, I can't go underneath that. Power's on. Jesus. I just loaded parts. 
Off they go. I still have to find that purple tape. I want to find it before I leave. Inside, though. Oh, God, it's watching me. This thing is literally watching me. That's terrifying. I want to find that tape before I do anything. Is it up here and I just missed it? Purple tape? Yeah, I got a bee cat. I think it's a bee cat. Definitely not a bat. Are you kidding me? Bad pun. Well, it's not over here. Where the hell is the tape? Definitely don't have it in my inventory. Oh, my bitrate has gone to shit again. Didn't even realize it. Wonder how long it's been like that. Someone's probably doing something. Yeah, yeah, I can see the bits are going down. Now they're also starting to go back up. Hmm. Who knows? Maybe like a paycheck or two. I'll attempt to. Uh, give a shot at the fucking uh, power line ethernet <laughs> see how that goes I'll buy the freaking adapters plug it all in and see do I actually get more stable internet <laughs> just wish there was more of a solid consensus on it A lot of people say it's great. Others say it's bad. Starting to feel like 2001 all over again. Yeah, yeah, I get it. My bits are going down. This thing, my internet, my internet itself is fine. Like, it's just when I try to stream, it goes all fucky. But that's because I'm using Wi-Fi. I don't have a hardline connection down here, which I can't get. There's no way I can run the cables because we finished up all the ceilings and we're not tearing that apart just to get a freaking Ethernet cable here. That's just too much hassle. Okay, seriously, where the fuck is this purple tape? It's clearly not over here. Wow, me going up the stairs is fucking up the bitrate. <laughs> hmm. <sighs> God damn it. It's because everyone's trying to do something up there, aren't they? Possibly. A change in my settings won't do anything about it. Hey, I thought it turned you down. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter.
That's not going to affect it. Got the freaking cat thing. Power line Ethernet should have a noticeable improvement, but it also depends on how your house is wired. Ah, uh, pretty standard, I would say. Oh my god, even worse. Everything is on fairly simple circuits. It should all connect, I think. I don't know. Now, what do you mean by how the house is wired? Oh my god, like I'm fucking. It's in like 100 kilobytes, Jesus Christ. Yeah, maybe my next paycheck I'll just bite the bullet and just order the fucking things. Uh, the modem has multiple Ethernet slots, it's just the modem is an entire level away. I am in the basement, it is a floor above me. At the far end of the room compared to where I am. It's never usually this... Oh... Fuck. Yeah, it's never usually this bad. Something, something's going on. Yeah, I must look like a big gray blob right now. Yeah, I'll probably bite the bull and get the power line. I'm just gonna let this chill out. Hope it recovers. I think it's just because uh, everyone might be trying to stream right now. Pretty much, yeah, yeah the banana cave, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much the banana cave. Yeah, I probably will just say, screw it, I'll buy the power line Ethernet, give it a shot, see how it goes, do a few tests with it. If it's incredibly stable, I will have kicked myself for not knowing about it earlier. <laughs> it's just finding the adapters that are actually good. Well, it's a finished basement, that's the thing. It's not just everything open rafters it used to be a while ago. But we finished it up, so everything's all sealed in. Hmm. I don't think this is actually going to recover. Uh, maybe it might recover. Just got to hold out. Man, this VOD is going to look like absolute dog shit. <laughs> uh, eh. Just the main thing is, will the will the power line interfere with anything we have uh, running with Wi-Fi? We don't want that to screw things up because I've heard that's a, that could be a problem. You hook up your power line and it fucks up things that have an Ethernet connection, or I mean a uh, Wi-Fi connection. But I mean, I'm willing to give just about anything a shot at this point. <laughs> I might have to call it. I'm going to swap screens for now. Okay. I'll swap screens for now. Give this a second to kind of chill the fuck out. <laughs> it's starting to come back. Starting. I've not even done this fucking game, and I'm already kind of, like, scared. <laughs> I... T Okay, seeing the giant th statue disappear and then watching its arms slither through a door is kind of, uh, freaky deaky. Okay, are you actually rec I think it might be recovered. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna fire up the game again. I mean, the game's already fired up. Okay. Alright, so far we're good. 
so far. But where the fuck is that purple tape? I, I want to find this purple tape before I leave this room. It's got to be here. If anybody sees the purple tape, please shout it out in chat. <laughs> I'd kind of like to see what they want to have on that tape. If me just going up these fucking stairs screws up this bit rate. Wouldn't the purple tape be in a purple box? Uh, they've been kind of just lying around. Every other tape I found has just been lying around uh, out in the open, more or less. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? So, Stella, what made you want to work at the Playtime Co. Factory? Playing with toys when I was young was so magical. I could go straight from my bedroom floor to anywhere in the world. It was such a great feeling. And being able to work at a toy factory, somewhere that can provide kids with that same experience, that's a pretty great feeling too. Sometimes though, I really, really wish I could go back. To being a kid, I mean. And it's weird, because adults are just kids, but older. I don't think anyone ever really feels like an adult. Your body just gets older and older, and then you die. Ew. Poof. <laughs> Human bodies just can't stay young forever. There's things, though, like some trees that can stay alive even while being way older than a person. I mean, the oldest people to ever live are still younger than those. So I guess everyone is always young relative to something, right? All right, I think we're getting a little off track. <laughs> okay. That was a thing. Okay. Why was the corner steaming? Okay. Boy acquired. I don't like that it's totally dark. He's gonna fucking pop out of here, isn't he? I mean, he can't come out if I don't go in. I'll just live here now. I actually I actually do not want to go forward. I don't I don't I don't want to. <laughs> you can't touch me if I can't go if I don't go that way. It's just a game, 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 just a game. Like this. Okay, yeah, that's run. Didn't really have to do a lot of jumping. Crouching is really unintuitive. Hmm, I'll probably have to enter through there at some point. Alright. Let's just get it over with. Okay. Oh, I don't. I know there's, there's probably gonna be a music sting, and I don't want to hear it. Not what lot? How loud? Yep. Yep. Running. Run. 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 
I can't see jack shit. Okay, nope, running this way. I can hear my heartbeat. Okay, now I know he goes through there. Uh, intuition, run to the fucking door. Alright. Run. Go, 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 go. I gotta assume I had to jump at that spot, and that's why it wouldn't let me go. Okay, going, 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 going. He's right there. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving. Run! Run! No, 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 not like this. Go, 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 go. Oh, no. still heal my heartbeat. Hi, Coley Bear. How's it going? Well, well welcome in. Alright, there's the flower. Uh, we pulled a box and he died. He, he bounced off everything on the way down. I'm okay. Um, just uh, hurts a little racing. <laughs> Probably the most underwhelmed reaction, I'm, I would say, but still. That was still spooky. <laughs> I don't like being scared. I'll, like, not gonna lie, I... I do not like being scared. Well, he died in the middle of making that. I could hear things happening. I heard people, like, yelling and screaming and a lot of pounding. Oh, yeah, that's, that's totally inviting. No, run, no stop, go back, run, danger, turn around, stop, no, um...
Well, this is sweet looking. Oh, there's a door. Can I... Nope. It's also blocked. Was it trying to stop something from coming in or something? No, I mean, if it's on this side, they're trying to stop something from getting in. Yeah. I mean, what? Oh. Huh. That's a Poppy Playtime doll. I got two. You opened my case. But okay. I did it, I beat chapter one. A tight squeeze kind of sucks. I'm being chased by Huggy Wuggy, the the thing that'll never stop giving hugs. And he wanted to hug me, all right. I'm still kind of shaking a little bit. I do not like feeling like this. I'll let the credits play. Just so they're done. <laughs> and there we go! That was chapter one of Poppy Playtime. I don't have chapter two because I didn't want to actually spend some money right now on games. I'm trying to go through a library of stuff and the fact that this was free was nice. Yeah, it's certainly set in an atmosphere. I was spooked. <laughs> Heart racing. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna swap screens right now. And yeah, we're not gonna get uh, any of the game music anymore just because, well, uh, it doesn't play music when you're not tabbed into it. Uh, I am gonna add something though. I'm gonna add my outro music to this, to the Just Me scene, because a lot of the times with Just Me, I'm, you know, getting ready to end. So might as well. Might as well. That yeah, plus it gives us a little bit of music. Oh, all right. And hopefully it continues on when I flip to that other screen. Oh, we actually have to guide the raid. Do I have enough people for a raid? So, my uh, game tracker thing only says uh, I got one person here. So I hope the Copied on my computer and trying to paste on my phone. Yeah, sure, that's gonna work.
guess Twitch, because I totally play Modern Warfare. I play Call of Duty, so you're gonna give me that? Oh, I mean, you know I like Little Caesar's Pizza. <laughs> so, eh, they got it half right. Okay, I'm wondering why everyone's talking. They have the mic off. They lost their voice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, why not? Why not? So we'll do, we'll do that. And I get it, Twitch. You have a shout-out command now. Okay, uh... Let me just go over my schedule first before I hit the thing to raid, and hopefully we have, uh... Some more people to send to you know, Sleepy Raven's Way. So, as you can see, there is not going to be a stream tomorrow because, well, I am working pretty much all day and then coming home and handing out candy to the kidlets. I want to come around and get candy. <laughs> but after that, it will be uh, more Nancy Drew on uh, Tuesday. Followed by Nancy Drew again on Tuesday and a little bit of Dream Drop later that afternoon. I mean, it's all right here. It's all on the Discord. You can use uh, the command Discord to see the join if you feel like it. Uh, I also have my schedule up on Twitter. Which you can also use the command Twitter just to find that. All that is also in my description. Give you children candy for Halloween is sus. It's tradition, Yusuke. It's a fun tradition. <laughs> Everything is there. Uh, any updates on whether I'm going to cancel stream, move streams, or just randomly add a stream, uh, those will also be... Uh, oh, what do you know? There we go. Discord right there. Thank you, Thunderwolf. Uh, all the... Uh, any uh, updates and whatnot, those will be on both uh, the Discord and on Twitter. I'll post them on both, uh, both places in case uh, someone, you know, only does one or the other. It doesn't matter. Don't give them a treat, they throw eggs in. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I mean, that's the general idea. But no one actually throws eggs, especially nowadays. <laughs> but other than that, um, I think that's all for me now. I'm definitely looking into getting the power line thing now, especially because uh, Thunder Wolf says it would actually make a noticeable difference. It's much more stable? Cool, I'll take it. My internet is actually pretty decent. I'd love to take full capability of that and not be throttled by being in the basement every now and then. The 90s of blockbuster horror film machines. <laughs> Close. Yeah, other than that, uh, that's all for me. So, thanks everybody for, you know, watching, commenting, and lurking while I was trying not to actually be super, super scared. My body was scared. My heart was butt beaten. Too hard. But I think I'm coming. Oh. So, whoever is here, we will send them off over to Sleepy Raven Plays. As redeemed by Yusuke. Can use, if you feel like it, the raid command. That's for anyone that is following. And if anyone has an active sub, they can use the sub raid command. And, uh, yeah. I get, uh, I mean, they're pretty much the same thing, only one has my bananas. Yeah, there. There's, that, that has my bananas on them. <laughs> <sighs> All right, so, yep. I hope everybody uh, has themselves a great rest of their night. I'll see you next time.